My morning starts early every day, seven days a week. I get up before the sun even comes up. Every day is absolutely packed. So I have to get up early, I have to get ready, and I have to get to the shop. I'm on the road before most people are even getting awake in the morning. And I'm using every minute of that time to do things that I need to get done. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. When you do what you love, it's really not work. I do this day to night, seven days a week, but the truth is I'd be doing this if this was my hobby, if I didn't even do this for a living. This is what I love, so even though I work ridiculous amounts of hours and I sacrifice so much, the truth is I love every minute of it. 30 years ago, all I wanted to do was work with animals, and in particular, snakes. I wanted to be a snake breeder. All my friends and family, everyone around me said I was crazy. They said, Brian, don't go after that silly dream. You could never do it. All they wanted me to do was give up on my dreams, and I wouldn't allow that to happen. 30 years later, BHB is still thriving. This is definitely a dream job for me, uh, for Mary and myself, you know, getting to wake up every day and getting excited to come to work. You know, it's, it's an amazing feeling, it's an amazing experience, just uh, being able to look after so many animals and know that they need your care and attention every week, just kind of helps you keep driving and keep wanting to do better and do more. So I take care of all the breeding for the geckos and the snakes here at BHB, and it's pretty much the best job in the world. Uh, I love getting to create living art all the time, um, uh, it's really fulfilling getting to take care of it. It's a lot of cleaning and uh, I tell a lot of people that, you know, it's not a lot of getting to play with animals and stuff like that, but it's still really great. I love producing animals that are healthy and amazing looking for our customers out there. It's just the best job in the world. With things looking good over here at BHB, let's head over to the Reptarium. Any successful person knows that it's super important to surround yourself with positive people that are passionate, that believe in the same thing you believe in. And I am very lucky to be surrounded by people that believe in our cause. Brian and I have been working together uh, for a long time and we've been able to achieve a lot during that time I think just with our hard work and dedication and love for the animals uh, that pretty much brings us to where we are today with everything we've done. Uh, match that up with uh, getting some really good employees that have the same vision and, and care for the animals like us, uh, getting our son involved. All these things coming together have led us achieve the things that we have uh, to this day. And I couldn't be happier with how things are going between BHB, Reptarium, all this stuff. And honestly, I can't wait to see what the future holds as well. Hi, I'm Noah, Brian's son, obviously. And over these last couple years, I've been taking on more responsibility here at BHB and now newly the Reptarium, working on more of the social media side of things, you know, taking pictures, videos, editing up videos for my dad's Instagram, Facebook, with all the followers that we've gotten recently, it's actually really cool. Um, a lot of people ask, like, what what is it like being with all these animals? It's honestly really cool. It's it's something different, obviously. A lot of people, their parents, you know, they're they're kind of normal. My dad is completely different than normal, as you can see. We got all these exotic reptiles, just like Bella back there. She's one of my favorites. And one of the best parts about being here at the Reptarium and BHB both combined is. Every, all the employees and co-workers, we're all like family. We're all just like friends at the end of the day. We're all joking throughout the entire day. So when we're at work, it doesn't even feel like work. It just feels like a friendship bonding, just like hanging out with the fam, you know? 
I've always followed my dreams and I've never let anyone stop me in that path. In 2008, I probably took the biggest leap of all. From a guy that really doesn't like attention, believe it or not, I decided to start a YouTube channel. And once again, I had people tell me that it wouldn't work out, that no one would want to watch reptiles on YouTube. They told me that I couldn't work on YouTube, but I didn't listen. I believed in myself and I decided to start Snake Bites TV. 12 years later, we have almost 800,000 subscribers on that channel and over a quarter billion views. The same thing happened when we pitched our first television shows. Executives told me there's no way I could ever do television. They said to stick to YouTube, that's where I did good, that I would never have a TV show. Then I shot with Discovery Channel, Nickelodeon, Science Channel, True TV, and more. Then I decided to take it to the next level. Two and a half years ago, I decided to launch a daily vlog channel this daily vlog channel and people thought I was crazy. Not only the fact that could I actually tell a story every day, but also the fact that I ran several businesses. Did I have enough time? Did I have enough dedication? Would it even work? Would anyone even want to watch? And I'm going to be honest with you, I had my doubts too. I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but it was the fact that I wanted to showcase my family, my crew, the real life behind what I was doing. I didn't know if it was going to work, but I believed in myself and I decided, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Here we are, two and a half years later we're over 2 million subscribers and 300 million views on this channel. The interesting thing is I realized how passionate I was about educating people. I didn't think that I would ever want to be in front of a camera. As a matter of fact, I used to have a panic attack if I talked in front of three people. Now I can't wait to get to know each and every one of you. This is something that I couldn't imagine living without. But success can come at a price. It's actually not the first time that he mistreated one of his big snakes enough for it to die. He has proven to be a sketchy breeder in the past. Many people have had experiences with him setting the mice hair. snakes with kings His hair really bothers me. Does it make you want to quit? Are there days that you wake up and you just don't want to go forward? You, you see things about you that you would fight your whole life to disprove? Is it easy? Is it hard to see things written about you and showed about you that you would literally stand up for your whole life to go against? Making you look like a demon, making you look terrible, things that you love the most people are saying that you abuse. Does it make you want to walk away? Do I want to quit? Do I wake up in the morning and sometimes say I've had enough? I don't, why am I doing this? Why am I putting in 18 hours, 20 hours a day, seven days a week? Why am I putting all this effort in? Why, why, why don't I just stop right now? Why don't I just walk away? I don't need this, but I can't. Because again, that same thing about you can't do it, Brian. You're not gonna be able to succeed. That's what drives me. I'm not gonna let someone else win. I'm not gonna let anyone stop me from what I believe in, what I wanna prove. I love animals and reptiles in particular more than anything. And I want other people to understand how much I love them. And if they can understand how much I love them, maybe they'll give them a chance. Maybe someone that hates or despises snakes will see a guy that just wants to put everything on the line and show people how much he loves those animals. Maybe the next time they see a snake, maybe they'll think twice about killing it. Maybe people that are fearful will see others get over those fears and maybe they'll understand an animal that is so oftentimes misunderstood. I'm not gonna let anyone stop me. I'm not gonna let the negativity, and even if I wake up in the morning and I feel completely drained of energy because of the negativity, and I feel like I wanna walk away and just give up, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not going to do it. Because I know, and the people around me know the truth. They know what we stand for. They know what we're passionate about. They know that we would die for these animals, and I am never gonna stop. And that is ultimately the biggest point is don't quit on your dreams don't let other people steal your success because that's what's gonna happen as you start to succeed people are gonna try to steal that success away from you they're gonna try to make you look bad so they can create their own success and trust me you don't want to create success on the backs of others don't tear people down to create success because going negative may get you attention right now but trust me in the long run you're gonna lose if you stay 
positive and you have a positive message and you help people, and in my case, try to help animals, that is going to survive the negativity. It always will survive the negativity. So the same thing that I've seen my whole life since I was a kid, and they said, you can't do BHB, you can't do a YouTube channel, you can't do television, you can't open up a reptile zoo, you can't succeed on YouTube as a daily vlogger. I've showed that all you have to do is believe in yourself and never give up and never quit never walk away believe in yourself i believe in you you have to believe in yourself and never never ever give up the key to success isn't being the smartest it isn't being the most connected or the richest what it is is about being the most dedicated and the most hard-working person you possibly can be you have to believe in yourself and you have to be willing to sacrifice to get to the top and trust me you may fail a lot of times it's okay succeeding is about failing people you have to believe in yourself you have to work hard and you have to be willing to do whatever it takes to achieve your dreams who dog, I tell you what, the end of another crazy day. The truth is, every day is a long crazy day here. Just shutting it down at the Reptarium over at BHB. You know, as I was on my way home, I was thinking, because again, I'm always working, even after a long day, and a lot of people think that success is about being lucky or being at the right place at the right time, but my favorite quote of all time actually came from Lucille Ball, and she said, the harder I work, the luckier I get, and nothing could be more true than that. be honest with you guys there it is I mean you know success isn't pretty it's uh, a lot of grinding that's what basically it is and uh, even though sometimes you guys see kind of the best parts of my day this is what it's about it's about putting the hours in, putting the energy and putting the effort in and the fact is, is uh, it's late at night now so I'm gonna try to get some Z's because tomorrow's gonna be an early morning Time to do it again. Let's go.